Now, I'm going to hit two shots here, and I'm going to do two different things with my arms. So you're going to see the difference between these two shots was pretty much zero. They looked almost exactly the same, those two golf shots. But the difference was, the first swing, I had really tense, tight arms through the golf swing. The second one, really relaxed and loose arms. Those two swings would have had vastly different results for a round of golf. The first one would have been extremely short. I doubt I would have got any distance out of those at all. The eight iron I hit there would have probably gone 120 yards at most. Where the second one, where of light and loose arms, it would have gone my normal around 160 yards with my eight iron. So, Let's talk about why that's the case. So with that first swing with the really stiff arms, this is something that I see a lot of players do when they're trying to add more rotation into their golf swing. And a lot of players always suffer from a massive drop off in distance when they try to rotate more. But that isn't because the rotation is taking out all the arm movement in the golf swing. It's because them trying to have that more rotational move subconsciously players always tense up those arms to where you've got no fluidity you might be able to strike the golf ball well like that doing it but you're not going to be having that catapulting effect of the arms so that's why that second one is so much more powerful of a golf shot it's not because i'm doing more arm movement i'm certainly not i'm just letting that body movement the more rotation i'm doing actually result and transfer that energy into my arms. I'm not gonna have that energy transfer happen if the arms are really stiff. I need to loosen them up so I've got like a three out of 10 in grip pressure and all of a sudden they whip and they catapult through the golf ball more and create a ton more speed by doing the exact same body movement. This is also a massive reason why when you get to the first tee, why you hit such a bad golf shot? Because you get so tense trying to control your golf swing to control and force that golf ball to go where you want it to. But then when you get into the round, you start hitting some much better shots. It's because the arms have loosened up. And if you're moving your body well, you can really repeat some pretty good positions over and over again. So you know, as we know with golf, we're standing over that golf ball. We're not reacting to something like we would do in other sports. So by nature, that does get us to be more tense over the golf ball. But if we can override that and be conscious of that and get the arms to loosen up, almost feel like they're being shaken out to some extent before we hit a shot, maybe a couple loose waggles before we swing, is gonna make us much more consistent even when we get out on the golf course too. So a brilliant drill to do to get these light and loose, relaxed arms is to get yourself up to the top of the backswing with just your left arm, have your right palm, put it on the butt end of the club, and as you're turning down, put no pressure into your right palm with that golf club. So that's gonna train these arms to be really light and loose. It's to the extent where you're almost feeling like you're dropping that club, you know, where you're losing your grip on it. That's gonna really get the exaggeration of having these arms light and loose. And you can see, what does that do to the golf club technically? It gets it to shallow out quite considerably. So if you guys are steep, this can really help massively. So a bunch of that drill, and then going into your shot, that same feel is gonna get these arms more cooperating with what the body's doing and in complementing what the body's doing. And that's how you're gonna get this power transfer from your rotation that you're trying to get into your golf swing also. But we know all the other benefits we can get from it on the golf course for our performance. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video. So make sure these arms are light and loose and not rigid and tense, and you're gonna play better golf.